In the last few months, the security situation in the southeast has been characterized mostly by a series of violent attacks by gunmen targeted at different government institutions, leading to the death of soldiers, policemen, and innocent citizens. According to reports, no fewer than 175 persons have lost their lives in the last six months. Prominent among the recent killings is the murder of Dr. Chike Akunyili, husband to late Dora Akunyili, an Anglican priest in Imo State, Reverend Emeka Merenu, and the attack and killing of two traditional rulers in Njaba local government area of Imo State. This development has no doubt become worrisome for governors and leaders in the region who believe the need for the establishment of the much-talked-about regional security outfit codenamed Ibubago is crucial. In Anambra State, there has been several attacks on police stations and INEC offices, prompting the Electoral Commission to express concern over what it describes as escalating security threats ahead of the November 6th governorship election. The Speaker of the State House of Assembly says although the bill for the establishment of the Joint Security Outfit is yet to get to the House, it will be welcomed when it does. The Southeastern governors are still discussing about it. Once they are done with it, definitely they will pass it through us. And I promise in their number that whatever is the decision of Southeastern governors, which our own governor, His Excellency, is part of, uh, the state legislation will definitely go by it. In Imo State, an attack on a correctional center, police headquarters, and several others that resulted in wanton killings have been recorded. And today, you have your brothers and During a meeting of some Southeast leaders at the government house in Oweri, former Chief of Army Staff Azubiki Hejirika, who condemned the spate of attacks, is also of the opinion that the establishment of Ibubagu will go a long way in restoring peace. If Ibubagu provides even men just intelligence, intelligence only, they will have achieved a lot because intelligence is key to reading the place of insecurity. A boy state has also had its fair share of violent attacks by gunmen, one of which is the October 17th incident where gunmen invaded a film police station in a Honku local government area. This incident follows another attack on the state division of the Federal High Court. According to reports, a total of 48 police stations have been raised within the period under review. Although the security outfit have partially been launched by the Boeing State Government, Governor Devo Maye explains why the outfit is not yet on full scale. All that is remaining of the Bubago is to launch it at the general level and to have our security gadgets. We have the law backing up with the battle. We will tinker with the law to accommodate the joint operation that we are allowed to move from here to Enugu to operate within our orders and combat. In neighboring Enugu state, gunmen have also carried out a number of operations. The recent is the attack on the INEC office in Ogu local government area. While the state government awaits the establishment of Ibibuagu, it set up a local security outfit called Neighborhood Watch and Forest Guard to complement efforts of security agencies in the state. You may also help us by not walking across the... Similarly, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Kechikwe Zougu, says the bill, which will come as an executive one, is still being awaited by the lawmakers. Attorney General, that is the Honorable Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in the states are already discussing because certainly the bill will have to come by way of executive bill. In Abia State, only in the month of May, not less than six attacks were recorded on different security formations, including the state CID and the immigration office in Umahia. The state government joined a security summit recommended the establishment of a local security outfit named Homeland Security. The summit recommends a new security architecture by the earlier state government that will incorporate a community based vigilante services, homeland security, CPMs, and absence. 
Plans for the establishment of the Joint Regional Security Outfit expected to complement the efforts of the security agencies to fight against crime has been on the table since April when governors in the region met with the leadership of the ONS in Digo in Oweri. But there's still no clear-cut template and direction for its takeoff. Expectations are high that worse will, as a matter of urgency, be matched with actions and lasting peace restored. Oh,